Hello again, everybody. This is Toastmaster Tim with another tutorial, video tutorial on Free Toast Host and how to use it. Today's tutorial is number 15 in the list of tutorials that I have taught. And today's tutorial is called How to Add Tabs to Your Free Toast Host Custom Page. Now, this was not something that I really thought would necessarily need a video, but I've had some people ask about it, and so here we go. Now, the reason I'm on my website and on this page of my website is because you can see here at the top that there are a couple of tabs, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about these tabs at the top of the page. And right now it's on Competent Communicator, and you see some information there. And then if I click on Competent Leader, it's just another tab, and it's got more information. So this is nice. It makes it clean. It makes it convenient. It really helps to where if you have extremely long pages, you can make them more compact by adding tabs here at the top. So let's get into it. Now I have created a test page and this is where I'm going to go and I'm already there and I'm going to click on edit this page and I suggest that you create a custom page, a custom test page where you can play with this and do it without hurting another page. And then once you're done, once you have imported all the information you need and you've got your tabs just how you like them, then you can show that page or you can make it public. As you notice that I've got this unlisted access right now. And the reason I do that when I'm working on a page like this is because maybe it's going to take me a day or two or a week and I don't want everybody to be able to see it so I unlist it until I'm done working with it then I can make it either for public or for members only. So I'm going to get rid of the words test page here at the top and I'm going to click on the source button because unfortunately that's the way to create these tabs. You have to use source code. And I'm bringing in from the side here the code that is needed to create these tabs. Now by using this code here it would set up three tabs but you can have two tabs, you can have four tabs, you can have six tabs if you want to. But this is the code, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this code. Control C for copy, and I'm going to place it into my source code page here. And if you want to pause this video at any time to type out this code or whatever, then feel free to do that. I'm just going to continue to move on here. So what we have here is we have the code for our tabs. And you'll notice here it says my first tab, my second tab, my third tab. And then here it says this is some content, this is some more content, this is even more content. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because when I click on the source button again and we go back to our WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. That is all you will see. There they are. My first tab, my second tab, my third tab. This is some content. This is some more content. This is even more content. So there you have. And that's what it will show in your WYSIWYG here. Now before we save this and go out and look at our page, I'm going to go back to the source because I want to change a couple of things here. Instead of it saying my first tab, I want to call it Toastmasters. 
and <clears throat> instead of this is some content, Toastmasters content. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to show you the difference. When we go back, you see it says Toastmasters and Toastmasters content. So I've changed content and I've changed the name of the tab. It could be if it were like my other tabs, competent communication, competent leadership. So I'm going to save this and it's churning and we've got our success message now and now I'm going to close this I'm gonna refresh and there we have it we have our three tabs Toastmasters my second tab and my third tab the nice thing about this is when you go in here to your source you can add any kind of content in here that you want you can have images you can have a lot of information you can have links to other places you can have all sorts of information just like as if it were its own page I'm gonna say call this more Toastmaster content and I'm going to call this I'm going to copy that paste more Toastmasters and if we go back you see the name has changed to protect the innocent and the content has changed. Save, close, refresh. Now we have a Toastmasters tab and more Toastmasters. We have Toastmasters content and more Toastmasters content. That's the height and width of it. It's relatively easy as long as you have the code. Not much more I can say about this. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this was understandable. This is Toastmaster Tim, wishing you well, and I'll see you later.